Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be implementing SQLite database in our .NET MAUI project. So in this video, we'll be making it quite simple using MBVM approach and just try to uh, create a basic uh, add and then edit the item and then uh, delete the same item from the database table so this uh, source code is going to be added in this video's description below so don't forget to download it from there so now uh, let's try to add the plugin uh, for this uh, SQLite uh, database to be implemented in our .NET MAUI project. So at first and foremost, we'll be taking SQLite Net PCL role. So this link uh, that from the Lon Microsoft site uh, will be used. And here you can see, uh, this is a temporary addition also. I have, I have added this plugin too. Uh, and then add it uh, from the menu as a NuGet package and then uh, search for the plugin from the browse section you can just uh, search for the two plugins that were sqlite pcl uh, raw and the dot uh, net maui uh, this one mm, sqlite pcl raw bundle green okay so these two plugins were added and then uh, what we are going to do next is uh, try to uh, show the ui how it really looks like and uh, uh, how it connects with the view model and everything so i'll just give a brief demo of the implementation that is done and here you can see uh, let's go to the ui um, the, from the ui that is uh, app.xaml.cs will tell that uh, app cell to load that is basic.net maui project so i'm not going to discuss about these two things i'll come later uh, on these uh, two topics so let's first of all see where is our ui that is our main page and Absil is telling that main page to load uh, from the UI, right? So we, it has basically has a button and a collection view, simple, sweet. And uh, here uh, in this UI, we are going to give a name for the collection view uh, because we are uh, going to either update the item from the database uh, here, okay? So or the delete the item from the database table, okay? So now uh, uh, the X reference is going to collect each individual item and send it to the uh, view model okay uh, that is this is the ui let's see the ui okay so whenever the item is added so it has uh, the cell contains all the individual item or properties okay and uh, is each, pro, each item has their own properties and this property need to be sent to the calling view model that is mbvm approach okay so now from the main page we are going to in, uh, instantiate a view model class so just create a view model folder and a view model class okay and then uh, just try to tell that we are going to load item from the view model that is this method is going to be added to the view model okay and we were from where we'll be calling it now uh, let's go directly to the calling view model so here it is okay so now uh, we have a collection view that is items that gets binded with the main page okay so this is going to be a container which will contain all the values that is added items from the database or something like that so up to here uh, and add item command delete item command and the update item command are just the uh, uh, button properties so here you can see delete item update item command and the add item command so uh, for the update and delete we individually need each of the um, items from the um, cells right so this is a collection view each cell has their own properties that's why uh, we need to say throw the still the button that okay do update for that is each cell and take all the contents from that cell okay so and uh, whenever that uh, delete button is clicked then uh, if we throw the uh, item from here then individual items are getting selected and you can just use the breakpoint and if, uh, if you want to uh, load the item from the database okay so that is uh, whenever the application is appearing then we'll just tell that load the item from the database we'll just load all the item from the database here i'll just let you know i'll just discuss about it a little bit later so here uh, whenever we want to add the item uh, that is a plus bar, add button is clicked right and uh, uh, here we'll just try to add the item creating a um, uh, creating a table so classroom item is a table okay so or a model class just think of like a model class we are just going to collect item and then add it 
uh, to the database so here you can see app.database.save item async right so here uh, we are initializing a database in our app uh, app class okay so i'll just let you know where it is actually and here uh, for the updating item we'll just throw the item that need to be updated it passes it along okay and whenever the user uh, click uh, tell that okay i need to update it so then we'll just either update or delete the item from the uh, database so now let's talk about where actually is the database so we'll just go there inside okay so app.jaml.cs okay and this is the code behind and here we'll just create a database uh, there's two classes that is uh, database and the table okay uh, table is uh, looks like a model class but it's not a model uh, table gets inserted to the database okay just think like that and um, in the database first of all we need to set the part path where the actually the database uh, uh, need to be added in our app uh, in our application and we'll just uh, take the local uh, application data path okay and then we'll just uh, get uh, create a um, uh, sqlite um, uh, database over here but creating the database is going to be done from the sqlite plugin but we'll just try to tell that okay we are going to take a specific path and the file name and then we'll just tell that okay this is the uh, this is the exact place uh, where we'll be setting it the uh, database okay so now let's go to the uh, database uh, class okay so here uh, we'll just use uh, sqlite you really can see okay and then uh, we'll just use a sqlite connection and then we'll just tell that the path that we have uh, created from the app.xaml.cs will be passed over here then the connection gets set up and the um, uh, database is going to get created automatically and then what happens is uh, get async uh, is going to get all the item from the database uh, and then if we want to uh, get, get item uh, from the database uh, uh, like uh, what uh, in the on the basis of id that is let us suppose if uh, if it is a person okay classroom item is a person let us suppose a person has his name phone number or anything okay so here you don't forget to add an id for the individual uh, table item so this classroom item is a table and then uh, think as like a person a person has his id name uh, phone number and anything but the id will be different okay so now uh, what happens is like uh, we have to get all the item from the database that means on the basis of uh, uh, from the table so as a list we'll just get all the uh, people from the list just think of like that okay and um, just a classroom item and in that classroom item if you are sending uh, the id of the person then we'll just get the uh, uh, person from the uh, classroom okay so that is how everything is working and uh, for the save item uh, if uh, the id is already the, if the person is already there in the database uh, table then we'll just update it or else so uh, we'll just insert it and then same goes for delete so that is it uh, regarding the crude operation and the uh, .NET MAUI implementation for SQLite and if you want me to uh, go more deep into the implementation then uh, let me know and uh, uh, give me more suggestions regarding what to be done next so that I can implement more regarding .NET MAUI and everything so that's all for this tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching